Hello everybody, thanks so much for joining me here today. My name is Jeremy, I'm a motion graphics designer, animator, and 3D hobbyist. This show is an unrehearsed screen recording of my workflow and a peek into my journey to develop a deeper design skill set. Here it's not so much practice makes perfect, but more practice makes progress. This is The Drill. All right, and this week is an interesting week because it started with another exploration into X particles, but ended up being uh, just figuring out what the right tool is for the job. So uh, what I wanted to do was make a lava flow. Uh, you can see almost immediately right here, I was kind of getting close to that. Um, I wanted to do like a lava flow, um, almost like a National Geographic, maybe, uh, you know, s footage of like lava, like a close above this lava flow. So uh, first I was using an X particles emitter um, to, and using the Skinner. Um, I was using three different emitters, two that were moving a little bit slower and then one that was moving a little bit faster. And um, you'll see uh, in, a, in a few moments, right now it's caching here, so I've got a moment to explain, but you'll see in a few moments that the, the particle, um, or the, I'm sorry, the texture material that I use is from Polygon and it's different uh, lava materials. So it was a really cool uh, emissive detailed material that I was working with. So I noticed like in looking at reference that the, the center part or like the main part of the flow moves like a lot quicker. And then the outside edge just moves a lot slower. So uh, right here I'm piping in all of my um, layers and I started to have uh, problems with it. So I have this sphere here to make sure my material was actually working and I was just having all sorts of problems uh, with this. Um, applying that material in Octane to the Skinner, I for some reason it was just I was just getting that orange color um, I wasn't getting any of the information so I'm actually digging into old uh, drill episodes there to see if I had figured it out in previous episodes and I had not so um, at this point in the day I think I was I was pretty far into just exploring down this one path um, and I didn't I, I want to get to a solution um, without abandoning the whole uh, record uh, uh, the, the whole recording and, uh, and the whole episode so what I ended up doing was using landscape materials uh, just native to cinema 4d and I started to uh, what I will ultimately end up doing is animating these um, just by moving them along their like I think it was like their z-axis or something like that so um, I am at this point I'm piping in different um, rock materials uh, but ultimately they didn't end up in the shot anyway so I think I even killed the material but um, it's actually a really simple setup it doesn't have the same fluidity that um, I wanted to get from it or like the realism but um, you'll see once we get to the composite um, that uh, that could kind of be uh, faked and flubbed a little bit too so uh, basically it's just a very it's just three different landscapes just moving along the z-axis um, to the two outside ones are moving a little slower than the inside one I rendered out different light passes for each emissive material so that I can kind of flicker them a little bit so there's just like a little bit of like the pulsing from the fire and then you can see here like a lot of the heavy lifting was just done in compositing so this is just some stock footage of some sparks um, I have those kind of toward the background, put a little blur on them to, to replicate that uh, depth of field, um, some smoke over the whole thing. Um, right here, I was uh, setting up a displacement map in um, After Effects so that I could get this like heat wave, like a heat signature. I ultimately ended up using um, the, I think, particle playground to, to act as the map, um, just to give like heat waves on it. And then um, when all else fails, just give it a, a dingy grade and th I threw some like uh, camera UI on it so it looked like maybe it was being like looked at through like a viewfinder of like a DSLR or something like that. Um, really crushed down the colors um, and then rendered it out and here you go it's like you can see there's these sparks I think like you know in hindsight they, they look very ham-fisted in there they're just kind of thrown in um, but as far as just like quick prototyping and like just trying to get a look quickly and playing with it um, I'm actually pretty happy with this I think that it still needs a ton of finessing but I'm I'm pretty happy with how this came out I think it, you know if you're using this for like a two-second shot or something like that um, probably with those like that bigger like puff that's in the foreground or like really kicking back those little ones um, in the background and, and really blurring them out a lot more I think they could help but 
I mean, that's it. So it's it, it kind of shows you like the, the benefit of the process like this is just like going through these experiments and just figuring out what works and what doesn't work. Um, I have a better idea of what kind of problems I'm going to be running into in X-Particles when I'm trying to skin or texture a skinner. Um, and if this was for a client or it needed to just, you know, go out and get some notes back on it, you know, something like a simple solution, just like moving the landscapes might be a viable option, even though it's not the most like elaborate or, or um, high profile, you know, it's always fun to play around with X particles and like these awesome plugins and stuff. But sometimes it's just like, just use what, what's in there and just like throw it around and see what you got. And then when all else fails, give it like just just like i said crush down the grade and and um you know add a bunch of noise on it that looks like film grain and and you know you might be able to squeeze something out of um of the garbage that you have been left with uh based on your lack of experience and knowledge so and that's the whole point of this process anyway isn't it so that's all for this week's episode i hope somewhere in there is uh maybe a little gem of something um not the best episode for a straight through kind of walkthrough of how to pull off this effect but more of just like just kind of you know farting around with the design process so if you have any questions, please feel free to let me know in the comments below. That's all for this week's episode. You know how YouTube works. Like, share, subscribe, and comment down below. You can follow me on Instagram and Twitch at Jeremy underscore Walker. That's J-R-M-Y underscore W-L-K-R. You can visit my website for updates or shoot me an email at Jeremy at JeremyWalker.com. Thanks again so much for watching, and I can't wait to see you all next week on The Drill.